Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and every day I'm shuffling and I am posting right now all the horoscope readings for November so every day at 6am my time, your sign may be posted so between now and as we move into November, all of the 12 signs will be available and they can be cross-watched or you can watch for your own sign to bring Twin Flame guidance in. So I'm really excited today because I've received a brand new deck of cards and I want to say a big thank you to everyone who donates to me in some way. Just liking this video is a beautiful donation. Commenting in the comments section helps me out subscribing to the channel to all the members of the channel to people who paypal me and send me donations through super thanks and you know during the q and a's which i intend to do one soon i promise you and i want to say a big thank you as well to people who send me things through my p.o box and especially my amazon wish list and that's what i've received today so i've received this gorgeous wisdom of Haffy's deck and this is, you know, amazing. So it's got this gorgeous bird on the front there. Thank you so much to whomever sent me this debt. There was no note in there, but it's so appreciated. So because of that, I'm going to dedicate this whole video to this deck. So we're just going to use this one deck for this video today. I may consult the guidebook. I'll see what they guide me to do because birds are messengers. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the divine feminine today? What's the energy around the Divine Feminine today? Jump straight out, two cards. The energy around the Divine Masculine today. The energy around the Divine Masculine today. And I have shuffled this deck as well before I came on camera. So, you know, I'm excited to see what this is all about. I have seen a stag bobbing around in this deck too. And the energy around the connection today. What do we need to know? The energy around the connection. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to start then today with the Divine Feminine. We're going to shake it up, do it a bit different. So the energy around the Divine Feminine is embrace stillness. Wow. Embrace stillness. Isn't that beautiful? So this means embrace the here and now. If things are still between your twin and you, you know, if it's quiet, if there's separation, no communication, it's time to embrace what that stillness is. You may find it's silliness. But stillness is working for you. So we do think that sometimes we think it's silly to not communicate. It's silly to still be in this situation. It feels silly. But that's because we feel vulnerable. And when we feel vulnerable, we feel foolish. We feel like we're doing something wrong. Or we feel like there is something wrong. And there isn't. You know, when we tapped in with the masculine energy yesterday, he say nothing's wrong. I just need a little bit of space and that's okay. It's natural. There's nothing wrong. We are okay. So embracing the stillness means embracing where you are now and knowing that all is well and things are moving forward. And if you've seen the number 777 and this is a number seven energy, that's what you've been shown. Your dreams are manifesting. There's nothing to fear. And it's really powerful because if you've been watching the little cards of the day, they're only a minute or so long. But it's been about letting go, letting go of fear, struggle, feeling trapped by our own mind and instead being at peace and focusing on the good, gratitude, meditation, breath work, just being in the now. And that's how we embrace stillness. That's how we, we embrace where we are. And we've got receive your blessings. Wow. So it's saying when you embrace where you are, you receive all your blessings because you start noticing that. When you embrace stillness, you start seeing all the good around you and then you receive your blessings and you receive your blessings in the physical world. So I love how these cards have come out with the seven and the six energy because seven is about manifestation and six is about the 3D world. And they've come in that way. So when we focus on what we want and we feel good and we embrace where we are, and we trust our dreams and manifesting with unwavering faith and we trust the journey and we have power in that, then everything starts flowing in in the physical world. We receive blessings. And the number six is about the, the 3D. Sometimes we're in too much fear 
or ego or struggle. So we may see 666, but it's usually rare the feminine sees that number anyway, unless you're in real fear, because usually you see numbers like the twos or the fours or the sevens or the eights or even the nines, because the universe is saying to you, you've got this under control. There's nothing to fear. And I'm seeing this as a gorgeous like lotus flower that's unfolding. So your journey is unfolding, but also like you're moving up. So, you know, what do they say? Stiff as a board, light as a feather. Okay, stiff as a board, light as a feather. So if you're feeling stiff today, you're going to feel tense. If you're feeling lighter, you're going to feel as light as a feather. And I feel this is what's happening. You're rising above all the drama, the gossip, the struggle, anything that's dragging you down or trying to, you're rising above it and you're feeling free. And you also know you're feeling lighter because you've been purging through things. You know, we've been talking in the masculine readings, especially about dreams, very vivid dreams, nightmares, purging energies, feeling lighter. Now, all of this has been moved away. So prepare for your blessings. You know, when you give it to God and you ask for help, it is given. So receive your blessings. Be ready for anything right now. And the energy around the masculine, we've got clear away old energy. So there it is again. The masculine is saying to you, for us to be together in union, to build the life that we both want, I have to clear away old energies. I have to release my karmic situation. I have to release fear. We have to let go of the past. So this is also a reminder that both twins need to do this. The feminine also needs to release blame, resentment, anger and forgive. Forgive, most importantly, the self for feeling vulnerable and feeling silly sometimes. But forgive our twin, forgive the karmic partner, forgive everything. Because everything is a lesson and it's learning us. We've got create silence. So if the masculine is creating silence, you know, that stillness. If he's saying I need space, if he's not replying to you, if he's blocked you in any way, if you're in separation, he's created that stillness for a reason so he can release the past, so he can release old energies. So this is a huge sign and really good message because it's saying to you, you know, if he's silent or distant or if he's created space, it's not because he doesn't want or love you, it's because he wants to have room in his own head to clear his mind, to sort out his life, to get things done. So it's a good thing. So embrace the sil the stillness. They keep giving me the word silliness because yes, it's silly, you know, to be in a situation that doesn't serve you anymore. And yes, it's silly to not communicate if you love someone, but that's the way it is with twin flames. It's for learning and growth. And the stillness is where the magic happens. And I'm seeing this also like the new moon energy, which is bringing in such powerful change. You know, it's bringing in a new beginning. It's bringing in a fresh start. It's bringing in discovery. So the masculines are discovering so many things about themselves right now to bring in blessings. So this is saying to you, blessings are on the horizon. Keep the faith. And the energy around the connection, look at this, offer up gratitude. So if you've seen the number five, 55, five, 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 it's a big sign of change and that blessings are flowing in. So offer up gratitude. Be grateful for this journey. Be grateful for all the things in your life right now you have to be grateful for. And also have courage. You've got the elephant. So Lord Ganesh is coming through saying, I'm releasing obstacles out of your way. This is a time to have courage on your journey. If you've seen the number 444 or 333, you've been reminded by heaven to stay strong as your dreams manifest, knowing that you have support from above, not just angels, but the ascended masters, your guides, and your twin flame journey is designed to last. And we've got the sun. Wow, it says dream wide awake. So again, you've got that energy of dreams. So if there's any vivid dreams, nightmares, previews going on, you're becoming wide awake, you're opening up, you're becoming aware. So this is another way we are healing and dealing and preparing for the future through our dreams. And I speak about that again in the masculine reading today. So the number 19 is also a big message about the changes that have been going on in the journey and the collective since 2019. And we've also got engage trust, number one. So it's like the angels saying the number one thing we need to do on this journey is to engage trust, not just to 
trust our twin flame to do their work because they are, but to trust ourselves, and most importantly, to trust in the love, to trust the universe because there's a plan. There's a plan for your life. There's a plan for your journey and there's a plan for your union. So you must engage trust. That means put that trust into place. That means surrender, let go, embrace the stillness and what you may see as silliness. So the elephant is coming through today is a great sign of power. You know, elephants never forget. So it's about knowing the journey carries on, that you are always reminded of each other. The universe creates that way. And I feel this elephant is about things being moved out of the way. Lord Ganesh helping with that too, but also about great power. You know, they're giving me as well the noise of an elephant. So you may see an elephant today, or you may hear the noise of an elephant. They give me that intuition, you know, through my intuition intuitively, that noise the elephants make. It's like a siren going off. You know, it's about things to come. You know, it's about when we blow a trumpet, we sometimes blow a trumpet to announce something coming in. You know, and I feel this a great sign that your union is ahead, that your twin is returning. That it's like Archangel Gabriel blowing a trumpet. There is coming through to me as an elephant's noise, you know, that's saying this is us announcing that this is coming in. So you're receiving an announcement today of good news. So good news ahead, whether you hear a trumpet blowing or you hear an elephant's noise or you see an elephant or you hear something in your head, it's the announcement of good news. So the angel is saying to you, there's good news coming in here. You know, the masculines now are letting you know that if they've asked for space or they've, you know, just created space without asking for it, which is what they usually do, you know, when they can block you, ghost you and not reply and you're thinking what's going on. Remember, there's nothing wrong. You have to engage trust and embrace the stillness, no matter how silly it may seem, because they are actually clearing away old energies and they're creating that silence to do so. So instead of being angry or triggered by that, offer up gratitude, talk to the angels and trust what you're dreaming about, that you're healing, you're feeling things, you're coming together, there's a lot of energy being released as well, and your blessings are on the way, so have courage in your journey, you are loved and safe, I hope this helps, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.